Okay, so we are going to do a length offset that everybody has been um, wondering how I do. So I'm going to try to make a video to help you guys. Can get a new window up. Okay, so we need to enter text. You're going to go over here to the A. I'm going to click that and nothing's going to pop up. You need to click on the canvas and I'm going to do mama. Um, I'm going to change this font to pen setter because that one's really easy to see and well it's just one of my favorites. Okay so we want to make this bigger so we can see what we're doing. Um, you want to click on this arrow here and to make this stay the right size and not skew it any certain way we're gonna hold we're gonna do control shift and then click on this little side arrow here and we're gonna bring it out now I want to make a point that anything that is not inside of this canvas is not going to upload correctly to design space so anything you do on here you need to make sure it's on the canvas so I'm just gonna move this over from this point this this is only text only text it is not a path your machine is not gonna cut this and if you try to upload this into the de into design space it's not um, a helpful hint is to look down here to see if your text is a path and it's not so we need to make this a path so while it is selected we're gonna go up here to path click it we're gonna do object to path then you're gonna come over here to object because now it is an object and we want to ungroup then we're going to go back here to path and we want to make this union now if you look down here the text is now a path your machine will cut this but for this video we're going to do a length offset so if this is checked on your screen uncheck it okay so let's do the length offset we're gonna go to path and you're gonna scroll down to length offset and then you're gonna have this little square right here I'm gonna zoom in control hold control and roll up on your mouse wheel okay so you have this little square here this is what you are going to click and hold and drag to make your offset so we're going to click and we're going to drag it drag it up now it looks like a big blob right now but that's because everything is all black so we're going to hit this select this arrow because we want to work with B offset so click the arrow and then I'm gonna change it to a color that's pretty easy to see so now we can see that we have our, our offset and we have our text right now this is only a length offset and just like the text before we have to make this a path so to make this a path we're gonna go to path object to path it is now cuttable um so at this point you could bring it in but I'm gonna pull this text up and we need to look at the nodes inside of this offset and to do that or, well actually the reason why I do this is because sometimes there are some little teeny tiny holes that you cannot see on your screen and we need to get rid of those if not your machine will cut it and not only that but your slice feature is not going to work 
in Design Space. So to look at these nodes, when it's selected like this, we're going to double click. And as you can see, there's little wonky nodes in here. So I'm going to um, zoom in, control, roll your mouse wheel up. Pull this back down where I can see it. Okay, I'm double clicking again. Um, to get rid of these, because we do not want those in there, we are going to drag a box around it. And I'm just holding the uh, left mouse button and I'm dragging a box. And that's going to select it. Once it's selected, you're going to hit delete on your keyboard. And that's going to get rid of these little nodes that are in here. So same thing right here. I'm left clicking, I'm dragging a box, delete on the keyboard. Same thing on this one, delete. Um, I'm going to make sure there's no more in here. I'm going to zoom in. Sometimes there's some, see right here, there's some really little ones that it wasn't picking up before, so we need to get rid of those. I'm just going to kind of mosey around the outside, make sure there aren't any more little nodes hiding. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out, control, and roll down on your mouse. Okay, so take note. See, I'm not on my canvas again, so I need to drag this back in, into the canvas. I like to make sure that these are aligned when I bring them into Design Space. So to do that, we have our offset selected. So now we want to select both of them at the same time. This one is selected. I'm going to go hover on top of Mama. I'm going to hit Shift and I'm going to click it. That's going to select both of those. And then I'm going to go over here to my Align and Distribute and we want to center vertically and we want to center horizontally and that is it on this now we need to save it we're gonna go to file save as um, I'm gonna name this one mama offset 2 and you want to change the save as type to a plain SVG. And I want this under keychains and we're going to do save. Okay, so now at this point, I go into design space. And we're going to upload this mama. So upload image, browse keychains and find this mama offset two. Okay. Just wait for this to pop up and save. And Vector image is uploaded, so we're going to click this, and I'm going to go find my mama bear. Down here somewhere. There she is. Okay, so we have our mama bear and we have the mama text. Insert images. And we want to select this and bring that to the front so we can see what we're working with. Okay, and then resize to however you want it. Um, okay, so at this point, Mama comes in grouped, so we need to ungroup. I like to select the mama text 
and move that to the back, which leaves us with our offset and our bare. I'm going to select both of those and it is not going to size. That means we probably have a node that we did not get rid of. Oh, never mind. There we go. It was selecting the text too. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so slice. And move this out the way. You can't see it, but it's in there and that out the way. And delete those. And it is ready to cut. And that is how I do my linked offsets in Inkscape. And I hope this helped. If you have any questions, Feel free to ask me or send me a message and I will try to answer the best I can and have a good evening.